Part 2. Types of Hearing Loss Acoustics of Sound Humans can hear frequencies ranging from 20 to 20,000 hertz to 250 through 8,000 hertz are most important for speech. Frequencies 500 hertz and below are considered low pitch. Speech sounds that are low pitched include vowels and most environmental sounds. Low frequency sounds carry the melodies of speech. Frequencies 1500 hertz and above are considered high pitch. They're important for understanding speech. They carry the energy that helps distinguish among the consonants and they carry the meaning of speech. This is a picture of the audiogram. As you can see, high frequency sounds, which are very soft, include the F, the S, and the TH. Low frequency sounds, which are easier to hear, include the M, the N, the G, and the A. There are three types of hearing loss. A conductive hearing loss occurs in the outer ear or the middle ear. A sensory neural hearing loss occurs in the cochlea, the auditory nerve, up to the auditory cortex. And a mixed hearing loss is a combination of a conductive hearing loss and a sensory neural hearing loss. Conductive hearing losses are due to a decrease in the strength of sound whenever a barrier is present in the outer or middle ear. An example could be a blockage in the ear canal or fluid from an ear infection in the middle ear. This is a picture of otitis media, which is an ear infection. As you can see, there is fluid in the middle ear. The middle ear is usually filled with air. It is a very common disorder. It is an infection that affects nearly 70% of children before the age of two and is caused by poorly functioning eustachian tubes. Sensory neural hearing losses are disorders of hearing produced by abnormality or disease of the cochlea. They account for the largest group of hearing loss. Areas of normal hearing sensitivity and areas of profound hearing loss can coexist in one ear. When the cochlea is damaged, a loss of hearing sensitivity is not the only complaint. Persons also have difficulty understanding speech. The left is a picture of a healthy outer hair cell. The right is a picture of damaged outer hair cells. Causes of hearing loss include aging, genetics, noise exposure, trauma, viral infections, and ototoxic agents. Toxic causes of hearing loss include ototoxic medications, cochlear toxic, which produce mild to severe hearing loss. They often occur in the higher frequencies. It is important to monitor and to counsel patients if there are no other alternatives. Nicotine and alcohol in large amounts over extended periods may also be ototoxic. There is a predisposition, and this is not true for everyone. Other ototoxic medications include aminoglycosides, loop diuretics, antineoplastics, pain relievers, macrolides, vancomycin, sildenafil, quinine, and tea tree oil. If more than one medication with ototoxic potential is administered, the effects can be additive. The onset of hearing loss includes prelingual, which is a hearing loss incurred before the acquisition of spoken language prior to two years. Perilingual, which is a child who lost the hearing after acquiring some spoken language, but before acquisition was complete, or postlingual, which occurs after the acquisition of speech and language. A progressive hearing loss occurs over the course of several months and years. It is often due to aging. Sudden hearing losses may be caused by head trauma or ototoxic medications. Hearing losses may be mild, moderate, moderate to severe, severe to profound in degree, 
this would be hard of hearing, or a person may be deaf with a hearing loss greater than 70 dB. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Aha! Uh -huh. You're on my apartment building on Granite Avenue. You owe me 300 bucks. Get it up? Fred, take it easy. It's only a game. Wilma, I'm just like them big tycoons. I play to win. Now, Barney, pay up or get out of the game. It's all busted. That's one down and two to go. Betty, it's your turn. I don't have any more money either. You got it all. Then I'll take a mortgage on your open home. Well, come on. Take the dice, will you? Don't just sit there like a dummy. I will not have you talking that way to our guests. Come on, Barney. I think we'd better...